All right, hey guys, I'm making sure to do double uh, west for this build. We did double north in the last one, so this one will tie into double uh, west as well. So what you're going to do is come up here towards this spawn, the west spawn, right here. There's going to be spawn right here. There's going to be one down here as well. So this pathing of these husks are going to come up this way. You can walk down this straight this way. That's what they're going to do. So we're going to do the two block off, or the three walls right here. One, two, three. We're going to put another wall right here. Put a wall right there. There. Basically go all the way down here with the walls. Until you reach this little slant right here. Or this little terrain. That goes up. Go back over here. So you're going to count one, two, three. Put a wall right there. Put a wall over here. Fill this in with floors. Same over here. Put floors. And this is going to be the base tunnel of the husk. They're going to walk straight this way. Put the floors going this way. Like that. And all the husks are going to be pathing straight in the middle because this is the easiest route they can take from this one. And that was it. Uh, then we're going to put uh, two walls right there. A cone, a cone, and a cone right here. Out of the cones facing towards the... N I don't know this way. It's northwest. I don't know the west, uh, south, Southwest? Southwest, right? I think so. Out of them that way. Sorry. Um... Surround them with walls as well. Besides this one, just put a wall right here. That doesn't have to be the back of it. So next what you can do is go down this way. Connect the walls from this way, from this thing over here to go all the way back. Back to this part of this terrain. Actually put a wall here. Break that. Surround that with walls. Put a floor and a cone. Edit the cone towards that way. And then you can do the wall, sorry. I'm my bad. Uh, and then what you're going to do is put a wall, a wall, a window, and a window. And these two walls right here. And then we're going to go down this way. We're going to put ceilings over top of these. Actually, I'm going to put these too high. Now, I, I didn't before, but they work the same. Either too high or or one. Completely up to you. And then you're going to come down here and put them one. And fill this in right here. Edit the walls down to half walls, like that. And then put them over this. You want to connect this right here just in case if it decides a break or something. And then what you're going to do is, I think we're done with this. Yeah, we're done with this spawn. We're going to get onto this one. Wait, make sure the lava bomb does go off before you start building this. So you're going to put a floor tile here, here. Go one, two forward. You can go three and four. And then fill this in right here with floors. This is going to be your base tunneling for the husks. They're going to walk up uh, this way, and they go this way, and they're going to walk up this way and this way. That's what they're going to be doing. So what we're going to do is put a wall back here, here. Actually, we're going to do the block off first. Yeah, we're going to do the block off first. So we're going to put a wall here. One one going this way to or towards the north uh, spawn. And the one right here, here. And put another one right here. And then what you're going to do is put cones right here, two cones, two more, or three cones, and then another three behind that one. Edit these ones towards the west. Edit the middle ones towards the west. Edit these ones towards, uh, these ones go towards the west as well. And these ones go towards, I, pre I have no idea what the way that way is, to be honest with you. Well, bomb should go off right there. You want to surround all these with walls. Get your base block off for this. Hold on. Got to put one right there. Now we're going to do sand walls. We're going to put one right here. Or we're going to do a little little tunnel thing right there. Or we're going to make, make the husk go around this wall instead of actually just going straight up for a little bit more lowness that we put on them. And we're going to put a wall right here as well. And we're going to fill this in. One, two walls here. A wall back there. Wall right here, wall right there, and then go back, and then two more walls, then a wall, and a wall with a window in it. This can be, um, you can start in the middle over here, go one, two high, put a flat, put a flat, flat. Basically, you want to fill this in like that. And then you want to come over here, put two flats right there. 
No, actually, you only need one. You don't need both. You need that one right there. So the one that matches this little terrain right here, that's the one you need. Uh, actually, I don't think we need those. Actually, we do, because lob bomb shift. So, here we go with the traps. We're going to start with this tunnel up here. We're going to start with the wall launchers. We're going to use three. We're going to use a three impact, double reload, one durability one. We're going to put one right here. Here and here. Next is going to be wooden floor spikes. Which those are crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit, crit damage, healing attached. Just gets any propanes blow up. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to go five back. And then back here we're going to put tar pits. So all durability. One, two. Next we're going to do is uh, broadsides. So we're going to use crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, durability. One, two, three. And then we're going to do wall darts. So they're going to be, it can be 130 or, one, or 144, it doesn't matter, but these are the rolls that I use. Damage, reload speed, crit rating, crit damage, durability. One right here. So it shoots through the windows, and then one right here as well. And then we're going to fill this in, this wall over here with wall darts. Same with over here as with wall darts. Next, what I would suggest, uh, wall dynamos. So crit rating, reload speed, crit damage, crit, or the uh, crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, and increased building health. So one right there, right there, right there, and right there. Next is going to be retractable force spikes. One, two, three. Those rolls are... Crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. And then we're going to go ceiling electric fields. We use a lot of ceiling electric fields now. So one right there. You're going to fill that all in right there. And you're going to fill in these sides over here. And these sides as well. And then what you can do is ceiling zappers. Crit rating, reload speed, crit rating, crit damage, healing attached. And just go straight down the middle. Oh, I forgot the other wall dynamos. You gotta put them all across these as well. You can do both sides or either one, doesn't matter. But I, I just do both just to be safe. So we're gonna come down here with the wall dynamos. Put two right here. We're gonna put two broadsides. One, two. We're gonna put another broadside right here. And then we're gonna start with the wall launchers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to have six down, but only five will go off, really. So if anything gets back here, this wall launcher will not go off anymore. But I'm, I just put six just in case this one goes away or that one goes off or that one goes away because of the durability. So what I'm going to do is two wooden floor spikes. One support floor spike right here, right here, and right here. And what I'm going to use is two tar pits. So one right there, there. And I'm going to use retractable floor spikes. One, two. The next is going to be wall darts. One right here, there, and here. This is going to be a broadside. I forgot to say that. And then we're going to have sound walls. One right here, 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 and here. Then tire drop trap. We're going to have one right there. And that's the only one we're going to have. And then ceiling electric fields filling up the rest of the ceiling. And then I think that is the rest of the Devil North. I think that is my whole Devil North. Oh, the lob bomb broke that, sorry. Just because I shifted the lob bomb back. Oh, yeah, and put walls back here as well. For the flingers and stuff, don't want to walk around. And a wall right here as well. Just in case. This wall can be empty, or it could be either or your choice. You can put a wall dynamo. Or you can put uh, one of these wall, wall spikes, but mine are just easy use for healing. I wouldn't put anything that's not damaged, so I wouldn't put another uh, broadside there that it has the same uh, reload speed as that one. That's in my opinion, but that should be the whole build, actually. Let me give it one final swoop. Oh, right here. I have a wall dart here. Let's look at the picture, sorry. That, that's a wall dart. There's a wall dart there, and there's one right here as well. Just in case, because blasters like to come over here and just hit this for no reason. 
feel like they hit it and then walk away. I don't. I have no idea why. I hit. I zero clue. But that's the whole video, actually. It's all build. Yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped. I think the next one I'm going to be doing is um. Actually, fuck it. Uh, whatever, guys. You guys comment in the in the in the in the comments. I will do a video on that one next. That's the one I'll do. Anyone, I've done Beach and Devil so far. So whatever one you want next, I'll do it. The one with the most likes or the most comment commented one, I will do. Trust me. Uh, I'll get it for you guys. The one you guys struggled the most with. All right, peace, man.